Okay, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It is 2022. It is a new calendar year, but we are going back to an old module. Uh, one of my favorites, Making Nations, Making States, is back. So for the next 12 weeks or so, probably a little bit longer, um, we're going to be talking about nationalism uh, on the channel. Um, we're going to be talking about the evolution, uh, the emergence, um, and thinking about, you know, wh where did these concepts come from? Where does nationalism, where does the idea of nation, in the way that we would recognize it today, where are these ideas coming from? And, you know, a lot of what we're going to be doing in this module is going to be grounded in the 19th century. Um, I'm going to make the argument that what we're talking about, nationalism, nations, is really born out of the sort of immediate aftermath of the French Revolution. Um, and, you know, if you've worked with me on the French Revolution, you know that I will have pushed that that emergent nationalism uh, narrative for that time period. But I suppose what the French Revolution starts, the 19th century picks up and runs with. Uh, and really, the the template that we have for nationalism and the concept of nation that that would be most familiar to us uh, today um, is, I would argue, born out of that period. So that is uh, sort of at the heart of what we're going to be exploring uh, during the course of this module. Um, now, I can't guarantee how many of these ridiculous history Pokemon hybrid videos that I'm going to be doing this year. Um, there's going to be one, there's going to be this one, but there'll probably be some more scattered around the path. Um, my my pool of Pokemon cards is diminishing rapidly. It's an expensive hobby, you know. And, you know, there are 12 weeks worth of videos. I, I don't know that I'm going to be having that many cards to play with. But you know what? I enjoy doing this. So as long as there are cards in the archive. And, you know, I've got a lot of Elite Trainer boxes stashed away. Saved for a rainy day. Unopened. So, you know, push comes to shove. I can open something really expensive. Um, but I'm going to be opening 25th. Uh, anniversary uh, packs. One, my final Japanese pack, um, which uh, which is exciting, um, and two regular, you know, regular English language uh, cards, uh, card sets as well. Um, so for week one, um, week one, I don't like to uh, throw too much at you in terms of historical detail. What I want to do is get the ground running in terms of the theory side, and we're going to kick it off with. Grass energy, grass, symbolism of growth, uh, regeneration, and a new, new calendrical year, yeah? Something like that. It works. Um, so, in sexual... Hey! <laughs> okay, cool, Pikachu. The full art, happy with that. That's a, that's a decent start. Um, so what we're going to be doing in week one is trying to get you to think about those initial ideas on, on nation. And... What I want to do, really, is to get you guys working on how you perceive both the concept of nation uh, and nationalism uh, for, you know, historical periods or indeed uh, where we are today. This is straight to the last card. It is a small pack and it is Zamazenta, full art. That's cool. It's not particularly rare, but I don't have this in my Japanese set. So, you know, that's it. That's good for the master set. Uh, plugging some gaps. Um, so... The, the sort of the donkey work is going to be done by you guys um, because I, I always like to get a sense of uh, your preconceptions uh, on a lot of the things that we're looking at. Um, so I want to know um, how you view uh, nation uh, and nationalism. Uh, I'm going to be probing questions about... There aren't any energy cards in the British ones, are there? Nope, just just regular stuff. Um, ugh, my computer's trying to restart. I don't want to do this video again. I don't have enough card packs to redo this if it randomly turns itself off. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I want to get a sense of where you feel the concept of nation comes from. And indeed, what you feel a manifestation of nation and nationalism is. Lots of people are going to have lots of different perspectives on that. You know, um, as you know, I'm coming from a Welsh perspective. And I always like to qualify the fact that in terms of my political motivation, I am applied Cymru voter, uh, and for the most part. Um, and so that may well introduce certain biases into the way that I look at nationalism and nation. You know, the, the nationalism that I sort of grew up with, um, and certainly in recent years, has been sort of quite a left-wing socialist uh, take 
on nationalism. That's of course not representative of all forms of nationalism. Nationalism is one of the isms that has a very broad church, very similar to fascism. Fascism has this broad reach from left to right and to center. Where does nationalism fit into this narrative? Let's look at this last card, which I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about what this last card is. So let's have a look. Let's, what have we got? We've got, hey, we've got, we've got flying Pikachu V. The, the focus is all, all out of whack today, but you know, not the rarest, but it's always welcome. Flying Pikachu V, always welcome. I've got quite a few of those. Didn't really need another, but uh, you know, it's always welcome. Last pack, last pack. Um, so, lots of different perspectives that we could bring um, to a consideration on nationalism. I also want to make sure that we get a decent sense in week one as to the distinction, I don't know, on the off chance anyone's in this group who actually collects the cards online, there's a card code for you. See? Giving you things. Giving you things on day one. Um, we're going to start with Kyogre. Always welcome. Slightly worthless card, but always welcome. Um, to get a distinct sense of the distinction between state and nation, because those are two profoundly uh, different things as well. Um, so we'll be opening that discussion and getting a sense from you as to where that boundary line uh, conceptually or otherwise sits between the two. Um, Cosmog, last card for today, and it's it's the Mew. You know, it's, it's, it's alright. I recently pulled the Japanese uh, sort of reverse version of this, so I have a much rarer version of this card in my pack. But you know, Mew's fine. We'll take Mew. Nothing overly special in that pack. Nothing that's going to cover the cost of the cards, but that's not why we do it. It's not what we do. We just do it for fun. Um, so, anyway, guys, there we go. That's all we're going to be doing in week one. We are going to be exploring concepts of nation, nationalism, distinctions between nation and state, um, and getting a sense of where you're coming from on the idea of nationalism uh, and nations. And that's going to sort of set the ball rolling for where we go. What I'll probably look to do as we get to week 12 of this module is revisit those questions that we're going to tackle in week one. We're going to probe uh, the evolution of your perspectives on nationalism and nation as we go through. Uh, and I suppose in my excitement of uh, doing the cards, I suppose the other thing that we're going to do um, is think a little bit about how nationalism and nations are constructed. What are some of the mechanisms by which that take us to a point of viewing the nation in a particular way? Um, because that's something that's going to underpin a heck of a lot we do uh, a heck of a lot of what we do throughout the entirety of this module. But on that, I think we'll call it a day. It's like it's like quarter past one in the morning here on Monday morning. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I'll get some more time to do slightly more polished versions of these uh, of these videos as we go forward. Um, but there we go. I will see you guys late morning on Tuesday. It's like uh, eleven o'clock, I think. Uh, we're meeting, so that'll be cool. And, we, and by God, we're going to be meeting in person. That's also exciting as well. You know, I don't, did, did I see you first year guys in person last year at all? I don't think so. Is this the first time we're actually going to be in the same room as each other? Possibly. The passage of time is such that I have no idea. So a lot, potentially lots of new faces. Or potentially lots of faces that I've just forgotten. And, and I'm seeing for what will kind of be the first time. Anyway, it's late. It's tired. It's tired. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. See you on Tuesday, guys. Good night.